Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a patient I'm showing for comparison to the next one. So this is a patient who has a normal appearance of the brain stem, has a spinal cord that comes out of the brain stem and goes down through the neck. Nice and uniform. There's a fluid, which is white, surrounding the spinal cord. You can see the fluid in front and back a little bit here. Down here, we can see the fluid, which is white in front and back of the spinal cord. Plenty of room for the cord to move around. So this patient does have some significant findings, some degenerative disc disease and some pinching of nerves in the side, but the spinal cord is looking just fine. So now we're going to go to the abnormal spinal cord. So this is another patient, and they have the spinal cord up here coming down, and here it looks fine, but we get to this level. This is the C3 uh, vertebral body. This is the C4 vertebral body. We have the disc in between the horizontal black area here. This is the disc space. We have a disc uh, bulge or protrusion here. If we roll off to the sides, we have some bony spurs that are pretty prominent. And this broad disc spur complex compresses the spinal cord. You can see how it's nice and thick here. If we get down to here, it's very narrow. So this is a severe stenosis. The spinal cord is getting pinched. And also the spinal cord is smaller than it should be. Instead of being nice and thick, it's diminished in volume. So they have cord atrophy and also some bright signal in the spinal cord, which is abnormal. We call that gliosis, which means there's death of the neurons, and so the uh, cord will shrink up, and it has this brightness to the spinal cord. This will cause weakness, tingling, and pain, and this is a late stage. This is what you don't want to happen, and once it gets to be um, atrophy of the spinal cord, then it's an irreversible thing, and so all you can do is decompress, go in here and take down that uh, disc and fuse these together, take off the bone and back and give this room to breathe here. Um, but the damage that's done is, uh, can't be undone. If we roll off to one side, we see darkness. This is a severe stenosis in the foramen, which is an opening on the left. And here's the opening on the right. You can see it looks like a bird's beak spur going off on the right. So you have not only a severe central stenosis and compression of the cord, but also severe narrowing of the foramina, the holes where the nerves go out. You can see here's a foramen and a nerve, and here you see just that bony spur causing severe stenosis. So end stage uh, findings, and uh, thank you very much.